High Squad members, my name is Josiel Bandari and I'm a top order batsman from Brisbane. My earliest memory of cricket probably would be watching Mitchell Johnson just tear up the English in the 13-14 Ashes series. Yeah, it was just real fast, scary, just good to watch. <laughs> when I was quite young, my parents got me into a lot of sports and I did play like my cricket then. Started playing that and then eventually I played soccer actually, that was my main sport. But then I got a horrific ankle injury and that took me out and then after that I've just been playing cricket ever since. When I was young, probably just playing cricket with my mates it probably led to me wanting to play cricket a bit more. During those junior years, I feel like it's a lot about to do with the coaches and how it goes there and then obviously your parents as well, making sure they provide like an environment for you where you want to play. But I think at the end of the day, early years is where you really form your love for the game. And if a lot of your mates are playing and you're enjoying the sport, that's probably the most important thing rather than how many other people have an influence, but obviously like, you know, your coaches that you have later on, they play a pivotal role, but I feel like early years is where you really form your love for the game. I started playing cricket when I was 11. It would be like my second ever season where I played under 12s cricket and made a rep team and played in the Ian Healy Cup. And we actually went on, it was like, Ian Healy Cup had been around for about 20 odd years and we're the first ever MSW team to win it. That was probably a real good memory, you know. The boys that I played with there, I still play cricket with or like still, you know, talking with them. You know, the same group of boys who played under 13 rep again and we won state champs. So it was just real good friendships and bonds that I formed there, which, yeah. Your top score is 140. What was it like when you brought up the 100? It felt great. I mean, I knew I was getting close to it and I think I was about at 98 or 97. I was close to the 100. I was getting a bit nervous and like I was blocking out the over as always the maiden. And um, I got, got myself a nice, you know, juicy half track and pulled it away for four. So, yeah, quite a, quite a nice way to bring it up. I think it's always great to be, you know, playing so much creed in the local community. Like I play in the Nepalese community every time I can. I've got a lot of like other commitments with school, cricket and like, you know, club creed. But whenever I can, I love to go down there and play because at the end of the day, cricket is playing it as a community sport to get together. and. I feel like that's the biggest thing, like, cause us Nepalese, we love our cricket. I mean, you would have seen like in the qualifiers of the World Cup, you had people climbing trees, doing everything to watch a bit of cricket, so yeah. My mum makes probably some of the best moments, I reckon, out there. It's a long process to make sure everything's real good, but geez, thank God I don't have to cook it. <laughs> yeah, so I think my first ever game is, uh, I think it was Billy Stanley's debut at the Gabba, but I feel like my most like my most memorable memory of watching, I was there to watch Mitchell Stark knock over Rory Burns in the first ball of the Ashes. That's, yeah, it was a great moment to be there. Rory Burns on strike, Carey debut, we're set to go. Let's get it on, Gilly. <laughs> I've definitely worked with a lot of professional cricketers, like I've been coached by Green with my bowling a little bit. But I've been lucky enough, like Shane Watson, he really gives back to his school and like he comes down and has chats about cricket, so I've been able to speak to him about cricket as well. And James Baisley, Matthew Renshaw, you know, Jack Wood, all those guys have had real good conversations with the cricket with. Seeing how they got to the top and like what they're doing, so yeah, it's just real good conversations. I love the way Ben Stokes goes about it. The way he goes about it with his aggression, just like doesn't care attitude. Yeah, and I also love Kane Williamson. He's the polar opposite, I'd say, of Ben Stokes. Just super calm, goes about it, does it his way. But yeah, probably say them two are probably the biggest inspirations. Most of the time in cricket, I mean, every day you're not gonna go out there, turn up, take five far, you know. So you gotta learn to, you know, enjoy someone else's success as well. So I feel like that's really a big part. As you learn to enjoy other people's success, I guess you, start forming a you know, closer bond than you would in other sports. Would you rather a five wicket haul or a hundred? Yeah, I mean, it's gotta be a hundred, right? <laughs> what about a 10 wicket haul or 200? Yeah, see, that's a, that's a tough one. There's only, what, two people in the world to take 10 for this, but I mean, 200 to 200. I mean, as a batter, it's my job to score a run, so I think I gotta, gotta score the 200, right? <laughs> it's just one thing, right? Putting on the bag of green for Australia, I think that's, that's just every kid's dream to play cricket for Australia. Yeah, I'm no different. I think it's got to be at the Gabba with my whole family watching, a couple of my close mates, and then against England. Can't get any better. High squad members, it's Rizu Mandari. Thanks for watching.